financial accounting. We're talking about financial performance, uh, specifically the liquidity ratios that have to do with accounts receivable. Remember, accounts receivable are when you sell something to someone else and they don't give you money. Instead, they give you their promise that they'll pay you at some point in the future. So, first ratio we want to do is the accounts receivable turnover, and it says what is your net sales divided by your average accounts receivable? So in this problem, short exercise six, we know that our net sales are $360,000 and that our accounts receivable at the beginning and the end of the year were $20,000 and $16,000. We'll divide that by two to get our average receivables. So $20,000 plus $16,000 divided by two is 18,000. So 360,000 divided by 18,000 says that our receivables are turning or refreshing themselves about 20 times a year. That's called the refresh rate. You know, like how fast do they, they uh, pay you? Well, 20 times a year just doesn't speak to me. So I need to know how long does it take for my customers to pay me? And so what I'll do is take that 20 times and I'll divide it into 365 days. And that's called days sales uncollected. So 365 days divide, uh, with 20 into it would be 18.3 days. So how long does it take from the time I sell till the time I collect? It's about 18.3 days. Is that good or bad? It depends, doesn't it, on what your expectations were, what you did in the previous year, and what your competitors are doing. Now, let's compare it to what we did in the previous year. What we've just done is for X7. For X6, if I find my accounts receivable turnover, I find it's 20.7 times. And if I divide that into 365 days, I see that the uh, shelf life, or how long it took my customers to pay me in a previous year, was 17.6 days. Is this getting better or worse? It's worse, isn't it? So the customers are slowing a bit on their responsiveness to paying me my money. So those are the liquidity ratios for accounts receivable.